So with your Ender 3 Pro came a lot of tools which are very handy, but not if you have to look everywhere for those tools. Today I'm going to give you a little solution that can help out on this issue. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your mailbox. And thanks for being here. So like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to do some clean up on the Ender 3 Pro. I was using a long time this little tool. This tool is right for every tool that you will get for your Ender 3 Pro and your Ender 3. But since I was having this Ender 3 in my rack, it doesn't fit. It's too high. So I had to look for a different kind of solution. So the solution that I have for looking everywhere for your tools is this drawer. I printed on Cura just like this and the amazing and the results look amazing. Uh, when you're going to install that, you are only going to need a little Allen key. Um, this is very noisy. You can use some, some packaging foam that will cover the whole bottom. So that is more silent when you're using it. Well, I tried to fit it and it is amazing. Well, let's install it. So we unscrew this part. also the other side I can imagine that something like this can be quite tricky because of the timing belt but just keep it on tension will do the trick So something like that. Now we are going to take off the screen. So we move it on the side. Okay, now we are putting the, the housing from the drawer we put inside. So, and there you have it, a Ender 3 Pro with a drawer where you can put your tools in. I've got this little rubber ducky sitting there. Uh, I did use some painter's tape, but I can imagine that you want to use some other methods. I didn't see in the STL file which other methods there were for installing this one, but I have it between the brackets and I use some tape to hold it in place. You're not going to see it anyways. And if you do, there are some other ways to keep it there. Maybe those little V slot uh, covers or some other things, but I think this looks quite okay. So it's steady and I can clean up all my tools right into the drawer. Let's do that. So spanner, some Allen key, the pliers fit in there too. Also the nozzle, some jumpers for the big 3-tech SKR Mini E3 
3 version 2. So, and there you have it. This I don't need anymore. So to wrap up this video, when you want to clean up your Ender 3 Pro, it is a little bit more. Maybe you can add a drawer to your Ender 3 Pro. There you can put many tools in there like the spanners, a plier, some other things like nozzles or your Allen keys. Well, that makes your desk also a little bit cleaner to watch at and everything is within reach. When you're doing some maintenance, you have the parts just right in grasp. If you are still watching this video, you are amazing. Thank you. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. On Sakri 3D Prints, you find everything you want to know about 3D printing. Every Wednesday and Friday, new upload. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and put on the notifications. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakari 3D Prints. Bye bye.